What I'm about to share with you in this video is dangerous. It can both save your life and destroy it. So choose the color of your pill before you continue. Ready to unleash your seductive powers? Ever dreamt of mastering the art of seduction? Robert Greene, the brilliant mind behind The 48 Laws of Power and The 33 Strategies of War, is back with another game-changing guide, The Art of Seduction. In this electrifying journey, Green spills the secrets to understanding the psychology of attraction, giving you the keys to successfully woo potential lovers or devoted followers. Let's be real. Who doesn't want the intoxicating thrill of being adored, the power to bend someone's will to your desires, and the irresistible allure of becoming a seduction maestro? We're about to dive into a world where seduction isn't just a dream, it's your reality. But wait. Before we embark on this seductive journey, it's essential to note that some of Green's tactics may raise eyebrows. They're often seen as controversial, even unethical. However, knowledge is power, and understanding these strategies can also help protect you from manipulators. So, before we dive into the nitty-gritty of seduction, let's talk about what it takes to be a successful seducer. Here are the six qualities Green believes are essential. 1. Effort. Once you've set your sights on someone you want to charm, let's call them your target instead of victim, put in the effort. Keep in touch regularly and sprinkle some seductive moves into your interactions. Don't assume that love will magically happen. You need to work for it. 2. Focus on love. Seduction isn't just about making someone lusting after you. It's about making them fall in love. Lust fades quickly after satisfaction, but love endures. To be a top-notch seducer and keep your power, aim for love, not just desire. 3. Practice makes perfect. The best seducers practice their art on almost everyone they meet. Like any skill, the more you practice, the better you become. Success boosts your confidence, and confidence is irresistible. 4. Be others-centered. Successful seducers don't talk endlessly about themselves. Instead, they're curious about their target, what they like, dislike, their dreams, and their preferred social and romantic interactions. 5. Adapt your personality. Seducers are chameleons. They adjust their personalities to match what their target finds appealing. If they like introverts, be an introvert for the moment. 6. Morality. Takes a back seat. Seducers don't agonize over whether their actions are right or wrong. It's all part of the game to them, a game to get what they want. And here's a surprising twist. Looks aren't the make-or-break factor in seduction. Part 2 will teach you how to use psychological techniques to seduce your chosen target successfully. These techniques work for everyone, regardless of their appearance. So, get ready to become a master of seduction. Part 1. The Players Forget complex strategies. It's all about developing some key qualities in yourself to make seduction easy. Green's got a plan. 1. Know your seducer type. Figure out your natural seducer type and work on it. Maybe even blend in a bit of other types. Also, watch out for things that turn people off. We'll get to that. Green has categorized them into nine types. Some are gender-specific. Others apply to all. Each has its own seductive quality. The Siren. The ultimate seductive woman who lures in rational men. The Rake is the bad boy who showers women with excitement. The Dandy. A gender bender who dabbles in a bit of both. The Natural. The playful, carefree one who brings joy. The Charmer. Flattery experts who boost egos. The Ideal Lover. They give you what you desire most in life. The Coquette. A tease who keeps you guessing. The charismatic, extraordinary charisma that's hard to resist. The star, real and unreal, they're a captivating mix. 2. Types of targets. Know your target, fill their void, and seduce them. The nostalgics, people who long for their past glory days. The escapists, those itching to break free from their roles. The self-indulgence, 
people who want their quirks appreciated. The seekers, those looking for a specific fantasy. Now, get ready to work your magic, and remember, it's all about understanding what your target craves and giving it to them. Seducing someone isn't just about romance, it's about making them fall for you, whether platonically or romantically. Seduction can help you win admirers, devoted friends, fans, or followers. According to Green, the goal is to gain control over the other person. Once you have control, you can sway them to your desires. While sex is a common goal, seduction can also be about getting support, making sales, or gaining influence. Phase 1. Luring your target. In this first phase, your goal is to pique their interest. 1. Build trust. Start by showing genuine interest in them, portraying yourself as a friend rather than a suitor. This helps them relax and open up. 2. Create mystery. Make them think you're in demand by surrounding yourself with other people. This sparks curiosity. 3. Highlight their need. Subtly point out what's missing in their life and position yourself as the solution. 4. Mirror their ideal self. Imitate their values and beliefs, making them feel like their ideal self. 5. Suggest the forbidden. Add a bit of intrigue by being flirtatious, but not easily attainable. Patience is key. You're building intrigue, not rushing. Phase 2. Hooking them now. You want to transition from intrigue to full attention. 1. Add surprise. Keep things interesting by occasionally surprising them with gifts or spontaneous adventures. 2. Master the art of words. Craft your words to direct their thoughts and emotions. Flatter them on their insecurities and be strategically vague. 3. Remain mysterious. Continue to play a role rather than revealing your true self. Adapt to their likes and dislikes. 4. Show vulnerability. Gradually reveal a vulnerable side to create a sense of closeness. 5. Isolate them. Try to separate them from friends and family who might interfere. Phase 3. Reeling them. In according to Green, now it's time to manipulate their emotions. 1. Be their hero. Find ways to rescue them and be there when they need help. 2. Add a hint of danger. Suggest there's something exciting or forbidden about you. 3. Exploit childhood trauma. Play the role of a therapist and fill the voids from their past. 4. Blend spirituality and physicality. Create a deep bond by incorporating a spiritual element. 5. Alternate pleasure and pain. Keep them on an emotional roller coaster to create dependency. Phase 4. Sealing the deal. Finally, bring the seduction to its conclusion. 1. Back off. Wait until they desire you intensely, then act disinterested briefly to make them pursue you. 2. Focus your attention. When together, give them your undivided attention and use seductive body language. 3. Make your move. Create the perfect setting for the final move of your seduction. 4. Avoid disenchantment. Depending on your goal, either end it confidently or maintain the seduction cycle. Green mentions other traits that can be a major turnoff, which are lack of hygiene, abusiveness, lack of ambition, hostility, arrogance, clinginess, and physical unremember. These techniques can be used for various purposes beyond romance. Tailor your approach to the specific person and situation but always exercise caution and respect for others' feelings and boundaries. So there you have it, folks. This channel's mission is to bring value to this short attention span world. So if you found value today, tell us that by clicking the like button and subscribe for even more value.